Fundamentally, the transmission is the same as in the Yesco, the 9-speed oh, wow. LST, but we figured out a way how to make a manual out of it. Good morning, guys. We are here at Quail during Monterey Car Week, and in just a few minutes, Koenigsegg is revealing their latest hypercar. I can't wait to see what is under this cover, and we got two gorgeous Yescos here as well. Look at this, Horatio and Christian talking about the new car. Welcome to the 2022 Koenigsegg uh, stand. Koenigsegg the press conference featuring the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've been here for uh, eight years now, not counting in the COVID uh, uh, shutdown. Uh, so it's a place we really love coming back to. It's full of so many nice people, so many nice cars, and, and just the greatest vibe in, uh, in the automotive universe, I think. 2022 is uh, actually uh, 20 years since we started production of producing cars at Koenigsegg. So from 1994 when I started the company till 2002, it was development, 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 and finally we could have a product that was homologated, crash tested, emission tested, and then we could get into the marketplace. The CC8S, that was the first uh, love child and just the blood, sweat and tears and work to get that out into the market with a very little skeleton crew. We were about 12 people in the company at the time. But we immediately got uh, uh, recognition, we got the red DOT Design Award for Excellent Design, and we got the Guinness World Record for the most powerful production, obligated production car in the world with 655 horsepower. So we felt it appropriate to celebrate the 20 years of Koenigsegg production by honoring that very first car, taking inspiration from that and bringing it into the future. Not a retro creation, but just celebrating the start of Koenigsegg. So here we go, please. The CC850. So the CC8S stood for Competition Coupe 8 Cylinder Supercharged. This one, again, Competition Coupe 8 Cylinder, celebrating 20 years of production. And I'm actually turning, I oh, just turned 50 years old a month ago. And we felt that was an appropriate number for the limited edition of this car to make 50 of them. Uh, it is based on our absolutely latest technology um, coming from the Jesco program but very much adjusted for the spirit of this car. So as you can see, uh, those of you who know our uh, original cars from back in 20 years, it is very much a true representation but it also showcased that with very little adaption and, and, and uh, adjustment to the design it's very contemporary today and it is this Scandinavian naked minimalistic shape that was very unusual when it came out in the super hypercar world and I think it's unusual still today. Track use or normal use with a clutch pedal with amazing tactile feedback and sensation but you can also put it in automatic mode as we are in 2022 we felt we needed to bring the manual back but also bring the manual into the future also to be able to homologate the car and pass all the future emission tests and so on of course this car also runs on renewable fuel which is very important to us so that we can save the experience of the combustion engine without uh, sacrificing the environment but uh, we have a very short time slot here so instead of me talking i think you want to hear what the car sounds like Ooh, let's go
So it's the fastest revving production car engine in the world. <laughs> it's the fastest revving production uh, engine uh, in a production car, similar to the Esco, as you could hear from the sound. So thank you for coming. Please enjoy. Please have a closer look. Cheers. Check it out, guys. Close-up look at the brand new Koenigsegg CC850 with the craziest transmission of all time. It's a manual transmission that can actually be put into an automatic mode, so you can choose between shifting yourself with a clutch pedal or an automatic. That's honestly an epic concept. So we're here with the man himself, Christian von Koenigsegg. Congratulations on the new car. Thank you. What can you explain about this revolutionary transmission? Yeah, so I mean, uh, fundamentally, the transmission is the same as in the Esco, the 9-speed oh, wow. LST. But we figured out a way how to make a manual out of it. Uh, of course, you don't want to have nine forward gears. That would be way too confusing and way too many slots. But as we have nine gears to choose from, in the, from a gearbox that is as compact and lightweight as a six-speed gearbox, as we're compounding three times three gears into nine, we, we figured out that we can make a six-speed gearbox uh, with this wonderful gated shifter. And then we have different gear rates just for track use and normal use. Wow. So we make use of all the gears. <laughs> so, for example, when you go to racetrack, you don't drive very much in first. You just need to get out of the pits once or sure. twice. So you can have a really tall first gear so you can compact the rest of the gears into a very drivable state. Like race cars do, they always have long first gears. So actually in, in, in racetrack mode, first slot is the equivalent of third out of the nine. And then it's kind of tightly stacked. But in normal mode, you're actually taking off on second gear. It, first gear is super short, you don't need that for manual. Gotcha. So uh, second gear out of the nine is equal to a shorter gear ratio than we had in our six-speed manual before on the first gear. Wow. And then the next one, two, is actually fourth gear because that matches perfectly third gear in a six-speed gearbox. But then you can slide over the shifter and put it into drive and then you have nine-speed automatic. Oh, so there's actually a mode there for well, show you. drive? So here you have the slots for manual shifting. And if you film down there, you can see this beautiful chronograph kind yeah, of mechanism incredible. down there. And then you push it over here, and then you have reverse, and there you have drive. Wow. Nine speed automatic. <laughs> that is so cool. It has three pedals, so when you're in manual mode, it's actually complete like a normal manual. The clutch is directly connected to the clutches, hydraulic clutches. It just moves one to one, like in a, in a traditional manual. But then you can choose manual shifting with great feel and feedback from the transmission for just going into drive. And you can jump out of drive and just go into manual. And it is, it is like a completely normal manual that if you try to shift down to a two low gear, it will hold the detent. And you can't just pull the gears out of gear, you need to use your clutch. And it's, it's just a normal manual, but in a completely new take. Super cool. Well, thank you so much. You. Look at the rear end design. While the front looks similar to the CC8, the original car, this is entirely new stylistically. Orange interior is nuts. Wood on the shifter with the little Sweden logo. Detail in the engine bay is insane. Look at all of the little Koenigsegg logos. One there, 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 up there, even hidden away. Look who we found at the Koenigsegg booth. What do you think of the manual automatic? Very cool. That's pretty cool. It could be a Regera replacement. It might actually be a Regera replacement. You heard it here first. Well, guys, there you have it. The world's only automatic and manual hypercar, or world's only automatic and manual car, period, from Koenigsegg, the CC850. This thing is unbelievable, and I can't wait to see it on the road. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.